So Mr. Alfonso Balgazar wanted to know how to set up a Midas F32, how to use it in Pro Tools. Well, I have the F24, so I'll show you how to set it up. So first thing that you need to do is you need to unpack the thing, set it up so that you have all the things you need connected. And then you set the master left right go to your speakers. After that there is a firewire cable which you connect here, it's in the back of the machine. And then you connect that to your computer. Do notice that the cable is a 400 firewire and my computer has an 800 firewire connector so I needed an adapter like this. And if you use a Thunderbolt computer you need another adapter. If your computer only has USB you cannot use this desk. You need to use something else. So then what you do is that you download this Midas Firewire control panel software. And if it says no devices found, connect devices, it means that your disk is turned off or not connected. So let me turn it on and let's try it again. So the power button is right above the power cable and you can see that the lights light up and that the LEDs on the Firewire extension card light up so it should be alright. Alright, so now I have the Firewire cable coming from the back of the machine into the computer and now let's try to relaunch the control panel and we can see that it sees the Venice right there. And here we can set the sample rate. I personally prefer to use 441. And we can double check that it actually changes it back here. All right, so the next thing is that we connect our iLock so we can use Pro Tools. Right, my hub is here, my iLock is connected there. And then I'll just open Pro Tools. All right, so Pro Tools is now open. And first what we do is that we go to set up a uh, playback engine. And there we change it to minus firewire. And then we set the buffer size, uh, you know, what we ever we want and so on. You know, basic stuff. Then we go to the I.O. setup. I think Pro Tools just crashed. No, almost. So then we go to I.O. And here we double check that everything is connected. So in one and what and what. And I'll put yes. And here we set the audition path. Uh, personally, I prefer to put the stereo bus to the last stereo channel so let's click OK and then let's make a new session where we will test that everything works so 441 like we said it all right so now we have a empty session here and let's add some Mono audio tracks, five, and then let's put a signal generator there, and there we have a signal generator now on track number one, and if we increase the level, we can see that we get more stuff going into the meter, and how you turn it on is that you press this firewire input button here, if you have it turned off, there is no level, turn it back on, it's on. So then you just select if it's pre or post EQ. And that's it. That's basically how you make it work. So then the last uh, question was that when you have, you know, your mix going on here, uh, then you want to take it out from the master. <coughs> how you do it is that you use these override buttons over here. And the last one is the override for the master. So it overrides the last stereo channel, which is this one for the output. So it will record that instead. And then in Pro Tools, you just record that uh, input number 2324. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and make good music.